Hello. Today in this video, we'll be learning how to make your hands look a lot softer, especially in this winter weather. We're first going to start out with an exfoliant, and then we'll continue to make a moisturizer. To make this exfoliant, we're going to use honey, vitamin C powder, coffee, and alum crystals. We are going to put in one teaspoon of vitamin C powder, the kind that like dissolves in water. Then we're going to continue by adding one teaspoon of alum powder. So you're going to take the crystals and you can manually grind them up with like something to pound it or you can use a machine like a blender or a food processor. Then we're going to continue by adding in one teaspoon of honey. It can be raw honey or anything you like. And then finally we're going to add in some coffee to bind all of the ingredients together. It doesn't take very much because this is not like a lot of ingredients but just enough so that it becomes like a paste. So I'm going to continue to mix this until all of the ingredients are well combined. Okay, so here's where I'll show you how to use the exfoliant. Basically, you can get your hands wet and then scoop up some of the exfoliant and put it on your hands. Then rub it in gentle circles to exfoliate the dead skin off your hands. The key word here is to be gentle because you don't want to cut your hands or anything. I would also recommend letting this mixture sit on your hands for two to three minutes so that you can get the full benefit of the ingredients. Next, we will be making our all natural moisturizer. Our moisturizer will include virgin coconut oil, cold pressed, pure linoleum oil, along with organic palm fruit oil. Then we'll continue with a vitamin E oil, green coffee oil, and organic roeship oil. And then some more cocoa butter, hazelnut oil, cocoa butter, and that is about it. We'll start off by taking some cocoa and butter and shredding it in a little shredder, a hand shredder. Um, we do this because the cocoa and butter is in these kind of quart or like quarter sized cubes and they're hard to melt. But if you shred it, it'll make it a lot easier to melt due to the increased surface area. Next, we will be adding in one tablespoon of virgin coconut oil. The difference between virgin coconut oil and say, refined coconut oil is as implied by the title, refined coconut oil is refined <laughs> and virgin coconut oil is not. Also, virgin coconut oil is made from raw coconuts while refined coconut oil is made from dried coconuts. We will continue by adding one teaspoon of palm fruit oil into our mixture. Palm fruit oil, along with moisturizing your skin, lightens your skin and aids in removing eczema and stretch marks. Next, we will be adding in two teaspoons of cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is really good for improving the elasticity in your skin and also it creates like a barrier around your skin to protect it from like the outside elements and it like seals the moisture. Next we will be adding in one teaspoon of linolen oil. Linolen oil is a sheep derived oil that prevents the loss of water from your skin into the environment. Next, we will be adding in one tablespoon of hazelnut oil. Hazelnut oil 
is really good for moisturizing, of course, and it cleans your skin and removes bacteria along with shrinking your pores. Then our last step will be to mix all of this creamy goodness together. As you can see, I used a hand mixer because it's more efficient and it takes less time and it allows the substances to really get creamy. Although you don't have to use a hand mixer, you could use your hands or like a fork and do it manually, but it may take a little bit longer because you're going to have to really use your muscle power to blend it into a creamy mixture. It really took me a while to mix this into like the consistency I wanted, so I think I was here mixing for like 5 or 10 minutes, but it's up to you how long you want to mix. Now that we've made our base, we'll be adding in a couple more ingredients. So one teaspoon of vitamin E oil, which aids in anti-aging, and it's also a natural antioxidant, which preserves our lotion shelf life a little bit longer. Next, we'll be adding in 20 drops of green Arabica coffee oil. This oil helps you have a nice and even skin tone along with managing the pH on your skin. Next we'll be adding in one teaspoon of rose ship oil. This oil again is good for evening out your skin tone on your hands and has antibacterial properties. So after we've added in all three of these ingredients, we are going to start the last step of our lotion making process. Yup, you guessed it, we're going to be doing some more mixing. So in this mixture, it's still a little bit chunky and there's some oil laying on top and I just want to mix this until it's really really smooth and we no longer have any separation of ingredients. And again if you feel like your mixture has no separation and it's well combined then there's no need for you to continue to mix for a long period of time. You can stop. So I put my lotion in these white plastic containers, but you can put it in about anything. A small mason jar, Tupperware, doesn't really matter. So here is the final result. Um, make sure to store it in a cool, dry place, but it's not necessary to put it in the refrigerator. I hope you enjoy your lotion. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks!